Hello there and welcome to iBroadcast Behind the Scenes. My name is Matt Smith, I'm from Aspire to Be, and I'm joined by Delith Pearsall from Tredegar Comprehensive School. Welcome Delith. So you've been with us uh, for the past three days with two groups of students yep. entering into the iBroadcast programme. What have you uh, generally thought about the programme and the impact it's had on your students? I think the programme has been really good. I think from start to finish it's been very organised. I think the children have had a thoroughly enjoyable time. They've learnt a lot of new skills using the iPad, for example, the iMovies, which a lot of them have never actually used before. They've had fun seeing what a theatre production is put together, doing behind the scenes, filming, editing. I think it's taught them a lot about teamwork as well. So in the beginning they had to decide whose role was for each pupil and they have played to their own strengths, I think. And they've actually come together then and worked well as a team. Fantastic, thank you. And as well as digital competence skills that we're trying to encourage within the students, uh, have you seen any other major changes within them in terms of their demeanour and perhaps uh, self-confidence? I think particularly the ones who were doing the presenting skills, initially they were a bit nervous even though they wanted to do it. And I think as the days have gone on and they've had more practice, they've become a lot confident in themselves, which I think from in the school, they do a lot of work to camera sometimes with an English oracy, for example, and I think this is going to benefit them greatly. That's great. Thank you very much for your time. So welcome back. I'm now joined by Hannah Webley from Ebervau Learning Community. Uh, Hannah, you've also brought two groups of students into the iBroadcast programme. What changes have you seen in them over the three days? Well, it's definite to say that they've grown in confidence over the last three days because originally when we brought them, although they're quite intelligent children, they weren't so confident in their speaking skills. So they've definitely improved in that way. And obviously as well, it's really improved their digital literacy skills, their digital competency skills, and their ability to just speak in public, which is something they hadn't had the opportunity to do. That's great, thank you. And how do you think the, uh, the iBroadcast programme has brought together the theatre and education? Well, it's allowed our children to both research a topic such as Nye and Jenny and also then practice their kind of oracy skills and obviously they're taking on a persona as well. They're not acting as themselves when they are interviewing these, uh, these kind of celebrities for them, I suppose. They are taking on a persona and a character and that's kind of bringing together the drama and theatre aspects of it and obviously the English aspects as well and obviously that's something that's really important today because we've got the release of the Donaldson report which is looking for cross-curricular links and the ability to introduce digital literacy as well and I think this programme's done both those things. Excellent, thank you very much for your time. Well I'm here now with Suzanne Allen who is the manager of arts, culture and events at the Enirin Leisure Trust. The Enirin Leisure Trust are the ones that have commissioned this particular eye broadcast of the Nye and Jenny Theatre Nanog production. Suzanne, uh, thanks for joining us. You're welcome. And now it seems like many months ago that we sat down and discussed the possibility of an eye broadcast with an Iron Leisure Trust. And it was your idea really that uh, we collaborated with Theatre Nanog for this Nye and Jenny programme. Yeah, absolutely. Um, as you know, we, we chatted about the work you'd formerly done through the medium of sports and through further discussion we thought well this is a great thing that you're doing for sports but why not expand that into arts and culture and working on the co-production of Nye and Jenny with Theatre Nanog it was just the perfect opportunity to work with you to to commission this piece of work. Well it's been fantastic for us because it's you know hugely broadened our our network and our delivery but you've witnessed firsthand today the two schools both Tredegar, Comp and Ebu Vaur uh, what have you seen in the children today? absolutely amazing. I couldn't believe the confidence that's coming from them. It's quite difficult when you're talking in front of a camera, in front of people looking at you, judging you, but these young people today, the confidence that came from them absolutely bowled me over. Well, I'm delighted that you had the idea and you carried it through, Suzanne. Thank you.